Hi there, Jen Jodwin here, Advanced Holistic Nutritionist from Healthy Living with Jen J. You can find me at uh, www.jenshealthyliving.ca. That's Jen with two N's. Um, I want to come on here today as a vegan plant-based nutritionist. I get a lot of um, questions about protein powders because there are just so many on the market. And the reality is, is that most of us are using a protein powder of some kind. Um, so I thought I would come on here and share one of my favorite protein powders, specifically why it would relate to somebody on a vegan or plant-based diet. And that would actually be, I'll show you right here, it comes in two flavors. It's the complete protein powder, it comes in a Dutch chocolate and it comes in a French vanilla. Now I have really high strict standards for food quality, <laughs> just me personally. This one passes my standards, but I wanna tell you a little bit more about it, okay? So first of all, it is a fully vegan protein powder. So it's just plant-based. Um, it's also made with non-GMO ingredients, which is really important if you're really looking for a clean sourced uh, fuel source, um, gluten and dairy free, of course. Each serving has about 13 grams of plant-based protein, which is really, really great for a protein powder, okay? For a plant-based protein powder. And um, eight grams of fiber. So that fiber is really going to help stabilize your blood sugar level and have you feeling fuller longer so that you're maybe like avoiding those mid-afternoon crashes or those desires to go snack and have something sweet. Um, but what, there's a couple of things that I really, really like about it. Okay, first, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the ingredients. So number one, like it's loaded with plant-based goodness. So it's got broccoli sprouts, uh, radish sprouts, alfalfa sprouts, chickpea powder, millet, uh, I believe it's also, yeah, quinoa, uh, amaranth, pea protein, rice protein, a water-washed soy, um, and mushrooms. Now, you're probably thinking, mushrooms? I don't want mushrooms in my protein powder, but <laughs> I want to talk to you about that, okay? So each serving has that 13 grams of protein. That's from the chickpea powder and the amaranth and the quinoa and the soy, uh, which is a really great blend of protein so that you're really getting a wide variety. But there's also really some really great things in here, um, like uh, spirulina powder, pumpkin powder, pomegranate powder. Like it's just, there's just so much good plant-based plant goodness in it um, that it's really hard to say no to. But then when you take a look at the actual ingredient packet, or sorry, the nutritional information, this is where it gets really, really cool, okay? so. Um, for most people on a vegan diet, it is difficult for them to achieve their B12 requirements on a regular basis, on a daily basis, um, which happens to be 2.4 micrograms per day. So a lot of times um, people on a vegan diet actually have to supplement that or they have to eat foods fortified with vitamin B12. This actually happens to have a plant-based vegan um, source of vitamin B12 that meets your daily requirements 100%, just one serving, which I think is really, really cool. Super easy way, easy, convenient way to get in your B12 requirements without actually having to take a supplement, which may come from a synthetic source. But in addition to that, it also has, this is really cool, 20 to 40% of your daily vitamin D requirements also from a plant-based source. This is where those mushrooms come in, okay? So uh, I don't know for those of you who are familiar with it, but um, mushrooms grown under certain conditions actually contain natural levels of vitamin D. The majority of mushrooms grown that we purchase in the grocery store don't contain the, le the level of vitamin D required to sufficiently support our bodies just because they're not grown under the right conditions because they're grown for mass produ production. In here, um, it actually has four milligrams of vitamin D per serving, which uh, for most of us is about 25% of our daily requirements. Um, so we basically have a 15 milligram daily requirement of vitamin D for uh, basic, basic uh, health maintenance. And so that four milligrams is basically 25% of your requirements for the day just in one serving. Now, how could we make this go from a really cool nutritional product or easy convenient protein powder to leveling it up even more. Well, this is where I like to actually just make a naked shake. So a naked shake is just the plant, the plant-based powder uh, with just some soy milk. Okay. So, um, so 13 grams of serving just in this, adding one cup of soy milk adds another nine grams of protein to your naked shake. Okay. So you're going from 13 to 22 grams of plant-based protein just in one easy convenient shake. But in addition to that, if you're using um, fortified soy milk, uh, you're also adding almost another 
20 to 40% of your vitamin B12 requirements for the day. So if you happen to be really low and you're really trying to, to uh, rebuild your stores, that would be a super easy, convenient way to do it. But also you get another about 45% of your daily vitamin D requirements just by adding one cup of fortified soy milk to your powder. So that easily takes this uh, protein powder to a whole nother level because you now have 22 grams of plant-based protein, which for the most of us is uh, about 30% of our daily requirement of protein for the day. Pretty cool, right? Um, but then you're also getting, you know, a hundred and like almost 30, almost 40%, 140% of your vitamin B12 requirement for the day. And you're getting about 60% of your vitamin D requirements for the day, just in one naked shake, which I think is so cool. And it would be so easy for you to just simply elevate that even further. If you, you know, say you needed a calcium boost in, uh, in your diet, then you could easily add a quarter cup of chia seeds to your shake. And that would bring up the calcium level, in, including increasing the protein. If you needed um, extra protein or extra omega-3s, you could easily, easily add three tablespoons of hemp hearts, which actually adds another 10 grams of protein. So a super easy way to really get in high levels of plant-based proteins in a very small, easy, convenient uh, way to eat. So I'm going to leave that there for you. It is one of my favorite, actually <laughs> the only one that I buy, um, plant-based protein powder, just because it, it really truly is such a clean source, uh, stabilizes your blood sugar with that fiber, even actually has a, quite a bit of really cool enzymes and prebiotics, which really helps support a healthy gut for us as well, which is super important because most of us know these days that our gut happens to be our second brain. And so if we are feeding our gut good, good fuel and supporting good nutrition in our gut and supporting a healthy environment for our gut flora to grow, we know that we are more likely to experience optimal health. So that is super important as well. Now, if you are interested in getting your hands on some of these, just connect back with the person who shared this video with you or feel free to uh, reach out to me on my website, jenshealthyliving.ca, or you can also connect with me on my, um, my Facebook page or my YouTube channel, and I will leave the links for all of that in this video description. Have yourselves a great day, everybody. Bye.